Is it hard to access affordable, healthy food? Then listen carefully. Daryl Addison, an African-American inventor, has patented a process for growing food on demand. He called it Torpedo Pot. Torpedo Pot is a fully automated flower pot that gives you control over your plant's environment. All you do is add soil, seeds, and plants to the flower pot and watch it grow. Yes, Torpedo Pot grows the rest. Visit www.torpedopot.com. Hello, everyone. It's me, Demetra K. of The Demetra K. Show here on YouTube and a proud contributor of the African Diaspora News Channel. If you could please do me a favor and subscribe to all channels and like this video, I would greatly appreciate it. So by now, I'm sure you all have heard a lot about the incident that took place in Los Angeles, California, where a 37-year-old traveling nurse by the name of Nicole Linton blew right through a red light. Check it out. So as you saw there, she went through a red light at La Brea and Slauson in Windsor Hills. Now, California Highway Patrol said that she was going probably about 100 miles an hour with no braking at all. Okay, and so with that, six people were killed, including that of an eight and a half month unborn baby. Now, the victims were Asheray Ryan, Reynold Lester, there, um, she, he wasn't quite one yet, but Alonzo and then, of course, the unborn baby they were going to name Amani. Now, there's also identified another victim uh, named Craig Pitchard, and he was 66. He was believed to be a pedestrian in that area. And it said about eight other people or more were injured, you know, on the sidewalk and in cars, and people were ejected out of cars. And it was just a nightmare, right? All right, and so as of now, Nicole, the nurse, is being held on $9 million bond. She was arrested, and if you can see her here on the curb, she uh, sustained moderate injuries, nothing life-threatening, so she is being held on $9 million. And at any moment now, the district attorney is going to make a decision as to how to charge her. She has been arrested on vehicular uh, manslaughter with gross negligence. That's what they're holding her on now. And so, of course, they're probably going to bump up the charges. Now, her friend said that she, being Nicole, was just with them prior to the accident and she had been drinking heavily and arguing with her boyfriend at the time. So... Her friend, you know, put it out there as to what it was. Now, they're also saying that it was kind of hard for them to do a toxicology, I guess, test on her because they had administered her a lot of pain medication because I guess she was in pain. And so they don't really know what her blood alcohol level was. And so I find that kind of weird, but I guess it's plausible because depending on what kind of medicine they gave her, right? Now, I said all that to say, I don't know what Nicole was arguing with her boyfriend about. It could have been anything, right? But again, y'all know I like to talk about emotional intelligence. And I say that this obviously, this uh, accident could have been avoided. Now, they also said that that particular intersection is dangerous where people go very fast and just a whole host of things that need to be addressed. But from the uh, standpoint of Nicole Linton, it could have been avoided by her exercising some sort of emotional intelligence. Whatever she was arguing with her boyfriend about, she could have just really stopped and said, okay, now it's bad. Let's say he told her, I'm leaving you. You travel too much, I'm leaving you. Yes, it sucks to be broken up with. If that's what it was, I don't know. But having some sort of command of your emotional intelligence would have said, you know what? That sucks. Let me process this in a way that's healthy for me and healthy for everyone else, meaning that I don't drink too much and get in the vehicle and kill people if that's, you know, what it was, right? Because again, her friend says she was in an argument. Also, being, uh, having a good command of your emotional intelligence means being self-aware. Like, who am I? I know who I am. I know that whatever I was arguing with him about, let's say he was talking about leaving her, I'll get through this because I am strong. I've been through worse 
and I'm going to process it right here and I'm not going to jump in my vehicle after I've been drinking, right? Then also you have to self-regulate, which means that, all right, let me give myself a check. Right now I am super triggered by what it is that I was having a conversation about, but I don't need to let that destroy my life or the life of other people. All right. So that's just two things that we could do when we are perhaps in an argument or whatever. But again, I want to just say RIP to the victims because that was a whole family um, in one particular vehicle that was taken out by, you know, senseless accident that, as I said, could have been avoided because again, and I actually want to show you the clip here of her friend saying that she was arguing, I mean, that of a friend saying that they were drinking and she was arguing with her boyfriend. Check it out. A woman who says she's a friend of the Mercedes driver tells us that the driver had been in a fight with her boyfriend and had been drinking at a nearby house with friends prior to the crash. She was drinking and she was not aware that it was a red light because she shot straight there. So as you saw there, because I just want to put that in there so people don't say that I'm speculating. This comes from a friend who said they were together at the time at a house. So there you have it. So that's why I said that it could have been avoided because, you know, again, it sucks to get into arguments with people, especially uh, someone you're in a relationship with. But we got to start exercising just a little bit more emotional intelligence and understanding really what that is. So anyway, y'all. Y'all tell me what you think of this uh, most unfortunate story that is still developing. And uh, as of today, you guys, uh, when you see this, by uh, by the time you see this, actually, uh, there should be some more charges uh, leveled against that of Nicole, who is actually from Houston and travels to that of Los Angeles to work. So anyway, y'all, for more insightful commentary, please subscribe to this channel and my channel, The Demetri K Show, here on YouTube. Peace. Hey family, make sure you join us on the new and improved African diaspora news.org. Now it is our uncensored and raw truth website. We have to make sure to have our own website because on social media platforms, they do have rules and at any time they could change a rule and shut a whole genre down. Now that would not happen to us because on African diaspora news.org, we can speak the truth. We don't have to hold back. So make sure you join our website today.